Hello and welcome to our channel. We've made some changes. We sold our travel trailer and purchased a motor home. And the, uh, the three, three solar panels that I had on the travel trailer, we transferred them over to the motor home here. That would be those first three right there. And then we added three more. Uh, we have these two right here that's about uh, midway of the, uh, of the rig. And then at the very back here, we have, uh, we have one more. Now uh, these are uh, these are 345 watt panels, so we have just over 2,000 watts of solar on the roof here. Now that uh, that small panel right there that was installed by the coach manufacturer to keep the uh, coach batteries charged up. Now, this isn't my first experience with solar. Back in 2016, we installed this system here. This is a two excuse me. This is a 5,500 watt grid tie system. With this system, I'm able to run my central air conditioner in the summertime, and my electric bill is still only eight bucks a month. And that's because you got to pay the regulatory fees. But back to the motor coach here, and that is these panels. And if you'll give me just a minute, we'll go inside, and I'll show you what I'm calling is the business end. Before we do, if you would do me a favor, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. Let's YouTube know that uh, that you're watching our content again subscribe and if you do thank you now hold on okay we're back um, hope that wasn't too long for you but here's again like i said i'm calling this the business end of the deal down on the bottom here we have six 100 amp hour lithium batteries uh, we've had these since the beginning of 2018 and so far they've worked for us with no issues um, up top here, we have two of the Outback FlexMax 80 charge controllers. Um, it just didn't make economic sense to, uh, to change out, so we just purchased the second one. And they've been working together just fine. Down here we have the battery disconnect. Next to that is a 350 amp fuse that controls the inverter. This is a 3,500-watt, 7,000-watt surge pure sign inverter. Again, we've been using uh, the one uh, FlexMax, the batteries, and that inverter for a couple of seasons now. And uh, again, no issues. They've, they have performed as, uh, as expected. On the back wall here, this is, sorry about that. This is a Progressive Dynamics lithium uh, battery charger. If for some reason we don't just don't have enough sun to charge our batteries, we can start up the onboard generator and use that to charge the batteries. This one here, that's the converter charger. Uh, this particular rig had a had a dumb charger in it, one of those that would uh, boil the batteries dry. So again, we purchased a uh, progressive dynamics uh, 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 converter charger to uh, replace that um, these boxes these little ones here on both sides these are uh, these are circuit breakers just like those oops sorry again my apologies circuit breakers for the for those systems and then this here is the circuit breaker that's between the inverter and the coach and then that fan that you see back there, it's set up so that if the inside of the cabinet here gets up to 75 degrees, it will turn on to try and lower the, uh, to lower the temperature of the cabinet. Um, that's the system. Um, so far, uh, we've, we've just finished installing it not too long ago. And the trial test that we've been doing with it, it's been working just fine. Um, so again, we appreciate you stopping by, taking time to, to watch our video. And if you would, please subscribe. Um, again, it, uh, it helps out uh, with letting you, YouTube know that uh, you're watching our content. I'm not going to send you a bunch of junk if you subscribe, it, and it doesn't cost anything. So uh, again, if you would, thank you very much, and have a great day.